So we've reached the end of the road for MAGA Republican James Comer, who chairs the Oversight Committee in his effort to try to impeach President Biden, an utter failure. But now we know what James Comer's true intentions were from the outset. James Comer's final objective, what he's really been going after, has been revealed because he was so incompetent that a leak occurred where Harper Collins listed that James Comer is getting ready to sell a book in September. And James Comer, of course, claims, no, there's a conspiracy here or in James Comer's voice. No, that's not going to happen. We're not really selling a book. That information shouldn't be on Harper Collins' website. Well, it is because what Harper Collins was doing, and I know this from doing deals in the book industry before and the publishing industry before starting Midas Touch, they have to start loading some of the metadata on Amazon and some of these places in advance of the sale. And so I think that's how it ultimately became public. But now Comer's claiming that none of that is true and there's a conspiracy there. But let me show you the latest with James Comer. Here's the story that Axios broke right here. And it is Scoop. James Comer is in talks about a potential book deal as he leads the Biden impeachment probe. With Comer, it's all about the money. He's angling for that book deal. Comer's camp told Axios that he has been in talks with HarperCollins about a potential book deal, but doesn't know why the book itself, which actually has a name already, All the President's Money by James Comer, how would that get revealed? I don't know. Maybe HarperCollins was loading the metadata into the Amazon systems and their own systems for distribution, and that's how it was uncovered. But James Comer wants to say, no, that's just one big conspiracy theory again. Here's what Axios writes. House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer is in discussions with at least one publisher about a book deal at the same time he is leading the Biden impeachment probe. Axios has learned Comer's impeachment investigation of Biden is looking like a dud, but Republicans insist they plan to keep pressuring Biden over family money ties into 2025. A book would be a high profile way to do that talking about. Comer has led the impeachment probe into Biden. His look into potential influence peddling by the Bidens included scrutiny about the president's past book deals behind the scenes. The project came to light when a source pointed Axios to a page on the HarperCollins website that shows placeholder cover for a book by Cover with a provocative title, All the President's Money, and a purported publication date of September 10th. But no book is imminent and there's no book deal, Comer staff tells Axios. They lie about everything. They're lying about the book deal. Uh, HarperCollins just on their own started posting a random book by James Comer. That's not not the way it works. I mean, they just think everyone's an idiot about everything. The link was put up in error by HarperCollins Comer spokesman. Austin Hacker tells Axios it was not authorized by Congressman Comer, and he immediately requested it be taken down. Yeah, after somebody forwarded the link to Axios. You see it right there. Yes, but the spokesman admitted that Comer has been in talks with the publisher about a potential book deal. Yeah, that's why it's posted because there's a deal that's done. HarperCollins is going, you know what? Let me post a book of James Comer because we may do a deal in the future. Again, Comer just thinks everyone's stupid. The guy lies about everything. The guy's a freaking moron. Sorry, the guy's an idiot. Sorry, I'll try to be more diplomatic. He is untruthful in his words. Although he has been in discussion with HarperCollins about a potential book, he has not entered into any publishing agreement with any publisher, including HarperCollins. I'm sure HarperCollins just posted it on their own. While while Comer's team says no book is written, a source familiar with Comer's plan said he hopes to publish the book in the future about his political experiences, what we're watching. Democrats are sure to complain about Comer mixing roles as impeachment architect and prospective author. I mean, what a hypocrite. I mean, one of the things the guy was trying to criticize President Biden for was that after Biden left the office, before Biden was president, so in between VP and president, you had Biden would write a book. 
Comer, while he's in this position, is what, angling to try to make a ton of money by turning his entire impeachment inquiry into a book deal? Are you absolutely kidding me? And then Comer just did a right-wing radio interview where his new conspiracy theory as to why he has no evidence for his failed impeachment uh, attempt, this is what Comer says. Here, play the clip. Well, what's so crazy about this is there's this counter effort being made to try to sell the American public on the idea that you guys haven't found anything. And I think we're dealing here with actual living, breathing business partners testifying uh, on the contrary uh, to quite an extent. So what do you liken this to? Is this Garland just trying to be a human shield for the president? Like what? It, what is this? Well, Garland's working with the deep state who's working with the liberal mainstream media to try to indoctrinate into people's minds that there's no evidence. And this is uh, former Republican Congressman Ken Buck, an actual conservative, who said, get me the heck out of this. These MAGAs are crazy. Ken Buck explained that it does it did appear that uh, MAGA Republican James Comer and Jim Jordan knowingly relied on foreign spies to launder disinformation from Russia and the CCP to try to take down President Biden. This isn't Midas touching it. This is a conservative Republican, Ken Buck, saying what the MAGA Republicans did. Play this clip. So James Comer and Jim Jordan, they knew that this was not corroborated information, yet they still went public with it, talked about it on television, used it to fuel these investigations regardless. That's what it appears. Uh, I, I certainly didn't have any evidence um, outside the statement itself that it was credible. And as a prosecutor for 25 years, Caitlin, I never went to the public until I could prove the reliability of, of a statement. And even then, the only, pro, uh, only public statement a prosecutor makes is the charging document. Um, let's see what the evidence is in this impeachment, if there is more evidence, uh, before going forward. And you don't have to listen to Ken Buck. Why don't we listen to James Comer in his own words? Here, MAGA Republican James Comer, after the witness was exposed as being a uh, foreign agent for Russia, he goes, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't an important witness. The 1023 things, the forms, all the whistleblowers, that we, that we never said that was a big deal. Here, play this clip. End of the day, uh, with, with respect to the FBI informant that Christopher Ray told, Jamie, you're asking me, Charles Grassley, Jim Jordan, was one of their most trusted, highest paid, informants with the bureau for over a decade you know yep. the the at the at the end of the day he wasn't an important part of this investigation because i didn't even know who he was all i knew was there was a 1023 that alleged bribery my investigations about all the money the bidens have taken from china from romania from for nothing uh, Kazakhstan, for, no, for, for, nothing Russia, for nothing in nothing. return for, for nothing. nothing this in guy return. has absolutely nothing yeah, to do with it crazy. we got a tip we investigate we couldn't figure out who it was here's james comer saying it actually was a big deal <laughs> previously play the clip what is the whistleblower saying specifically well, as you know, Maria, Senator Grassley and I have reviewed a legally protected and highly credible whistleblower document, which alleges that there was an exchange of money for policy decisions made by then Vice President Joe Biden. We uh, have determined that whistleblower is extremely credible. And based on the bank records that I've been getting and you and I have been talking about on your show for weeks now, and based on the fact that nine different Biden family members have been receiving payments from a web of LLCs that are receiving payments from my adversaries around the world. This fits a pattern of uh, questionable behavior that the Biden family members have been doing to receive funds. So uh, we take this whistleblower claim very seriously. We know it exists. We know the FBI has the document. As Senator Grassley said, it is not classified. So we want that document in our possession. And we also want to know what the FBI did to verify the claim of the whistleblower. Did you know that traditional bed sheets can harbor more bacteria than a toilet seat? 
It could lead to acne, allergies, and stuffy noses, and it's just gross. Miracle Made offers a whole line of self-cleaning antibacterial bedding, such as sheets, pillowcases, and comforters that prevent up to 99.7% of bacteria growth and require up to three times less laundry. Using silver-infused fabrics inspired by NASA, Miracle Made sheets are thermoregulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long. So you get better sleep every night. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. Miracle Made sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five star hotels. So stop sleeping on bacteria. Bacteria could clog your pores, causing breakouts and acne. Sleep clean with Miracle. Go to trymiracle.com slash Midas to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code MIDAS at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash MIDAS and use the code MIDAS, that's M-E-I-D-A-S, to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash Midas to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. But then, of course, James Comer has now moved on to the next one. James Comer told uh, Maria Bartiroma recently in an interview. Oh, no, no. This was a different interview right here. This was on Newsmax where James Comer said that he's now going to have to investigate John Kerry for colluding with Soros or something like that. Here, play the clip. Yeah, this is more evidence of uh, obstruction. The White House is obstructing our investigation. Look, no one knows what John Kerry authority was. No one knows what John Kerry uh, was negotiating when he would go to China. Joe Biden put him in a cabinet level position that he just created, but he, but yet he was never confirmed by the Senate. So no one knows really what his job was, but we know he went over there a lot. We also know, Rob, that he was colluding with these left-wing environmental organizations. We're trying to figure out who was funding these. We know some of these were Soros funded. Uh, we believe that some of them may have had some other uh, foreign infusions of cash from our enemies around the world. And every American knows that the Biden energy policy is a disaster. That's showing up in, in the polls. So we have a lot of questions, and, and just like everything else, the, they're, they're slow at turning over this investigate uh, the, the information that we've requested. It's not classified. We just want to know exactly who John Kerry was colluding with and try to figure out uh, why he was doing that yeah. and what damage it's done to the American taxpayers. I mean, look, it's just a total clown show, and here is... Democratic Congress member Jared Moskowitz just showing what a clown show it is because now we know that James Comer just wanted to write a book. This is all about money, money, money for James Comer at the end of the day. Wants to write a book right before the election. I mean, that's what Harper Collins was showing right there. But here, Democratic Congress member Jared Moskowitz calls out Comer and says, okay, Comer, you and the MAGA Republicans say you want to impeach President Biden? Well, then why don't I introduce the amendment? Why don't I introduce the impeachment? And then you could second it. And then well, let's do it. If this is what you want to do, show the American people. Let's go. Watch Moskowitz play the clip. Well, I mean, I'm just here to help him, right? And so I just think we should do it today. Let's just call for it. I'll, I'll make the motion, Mr. Chairman. I want to help you out. You can second it, right? Like make the motion to impeach President Biden. Go ahead. It's your turn. Sec you second it. No, nothing. Okay, we got nothing. So I want to, with my last couple of minutes, show the American people that they're never going to impeach Joe Biden. It's never going to happen because they don't have the evidence. Okay, this is a show. It's all fake. They just want to do these hearings. It's not leading to impeachment. They're lying to their base on Newsmax and Fox, leading these people to believe that they're going to eventually impeach the president. It's not going to happen at all, ever. Period. They don't even have the votes, even if they had it in committee. They don't have the votes on the floor. They know that. They got members resigning rather than taking a vote on the fake 
faux impeachment. Just ask Ken Buck, who said the speaker ain't gonna get me to take an unconstitutional impeachment vote. I mean, boy. And then finally, let me show you this clip right here of Joe Scarborough. I love this clip right here from Morning Joe about James Comer. Play the clip. Comer had nothing on Hunter, looked stupid, and then decided he'd blame the deep state. Oh, Watch yeah. this. Here we go. The American people can read the transcript and uh, make a common sense decision uh, and determination on whether or not the, the president's son was being truthful. Now what we're trying to do is go to the next phase, have the public hearing, bring all the associates in, and let, let everyone see uh, everyone's side of the story and make a determination. But at the end of the day, we're going to try to hold this family accountable. We're going to try to have referrals. We're going to try to identify the people in the deep state that were part of the cover-up. Because remember, in addition to the Biden financial crimes, we also have the cover-up by the deep state actors. So we're trying to hold everyone accountable. We're trying to wrap this up. I mean, how stupid, Jen, does he think everybody is? Like he talks about the deep state, they, they, they're, 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 their witnesses are international fugitives so much. who illegally sm smuggle weapons and illegally smuggle oil to communist China from Iran, or, or two, two countries that consider the United States their enemies. Uh, and, and then they got a guy that, that was their star witness who ended up lying, lying to the FBI. And it just keeps getting worse. Like Hunter Biden, you know, they, they keep talking badly about Hunter. I can now see when you read that transcript, right, they didn't want it to be public because he just keeps making fools of them. Folks, follow the money. James Comer's plans have been revealed. This is about a book deal for him. <laughs> the hypocrisy, the projection, the confession. Oh man, these people are just so incompetent, such losers. Anyway, hit subscribe. It's not these magas are just a bunch of grifting losers. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to three million subscribers thanks to your support. Thanks for watching. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com/newsletter.